there guys, it's Robert from Rockio 0407 l and welcome to episode 617 of Logo Mystery! Today we're, gonna, today we're gonna have a look at Fendi, the Montreal Canadiens, and Regular Shoe! Let's start with Fendi! Fendi and the Ink Machine. Uh... <laughs> it's a reference to Bendy and the Ink Machine. Oh my god. Uh, here's a short about this if you don't know what Fendi is. It is an Italian luxury, luxury fashion industry founded in 1925. Their headquarters are in Rome, Italy. As of 2014, there are 197 stores worldwide. Its key person is Pietro Beccati, chairman and CEO, and their website is www.fendi.com. So let's have a look here. Ooh, look at those balls! Oh my god! Look at those balls! Look at those guys and girls, so fashionable! And they got fashionable items right here, wow! They got the boots, they got the baguette cage, they got the sneakers, they got the pick up, they got the pick up, I see you! Iconic essential! And then they got the slingbacks! Get it, slingback? The calligraphy, and then they got the FF glasses, and then they got the peekaboo X like medium, and then they got the belt that they spank you with, and then they got the ankle boots that fit your damn ankle. Look at this, so damn fashionable as hell. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1925 to 1965, we have a squirrel trying to eat a nut, and he's he's on that branch. And we have the words Fendi 1925 in blue text. 1965 to 2000, we have uh, one, we have two F's, like two capital F's. One that is right side up, and another one being upside down. And then in black text on the bottom, we have the word Fendi. 2000 to 2013, we just have the word Fendi. 2013 to the present, we have the word Fendi in black text. Basically, they just changed the font from the last logo. And they added the word Roma, Italian for Rome, you know, at the bottom of the logo. Next, we move on to the Montreal Canadiens. Here's the short bio, here's the short bio of those of you who don't know who the Montreal Canadiens are. They are a Canadian professional hockey team that plays for the NHL. They also play for the Atlantic Division in the Eastern Conference. It was founded in 1909. Their home arena is the Bell Center. It is owned by the Molson family. Their general manager is Mark Bergevin. Their head coach is Claude Julien. Their captain is Shea Weber. And so far, they have won 24 Stanley Cups, 8 Conference Championships, 0 President's Trophies, and 24 Division Championships. So they're doing pretty good right here. And their website is NHL.com slash Canadians. Oh, I like those screenshots right here. And they, and this is their important stuff right here. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm just going back to the first bullet every time. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just going to scroll through this website. And now without further ado, let's get started! 1909 to 1910, we just have a blue capital C. That's all there is. 1910 to 1911, we have a green maple leaf, or green mistletoe, whatever you want to call it. It's not even a mistletoe. What am I even saying? So we have a green leaf, probably a green maple leaf. And inside of, inside of that leaf, we have a white old C. 1911 to 1912, the white old C has changed into a red old C with blue outline. 1912 to 1913, the maple leaf is now white with red outline. And then in blue text, we have the letter CAC in blue text. 1913 to 1917, we have a blue, not blue, but we have a red C with white outline and also with blue outline. And then a letter A is added, and it's the same thing as the C. 1917 to 1919, the C is red, however, the a kind of looks like the H, but still, it is an A. I mean, if you remove that part, it looks like an H, but it's actually an A. How, but again, the A is white with blue outline, and it's engraved into that C. 1919 to 
1919 and 1921. Uh, the A and the C now have now have red text and they also have blue outline now. 1921 to 1922. This is basically just the same as the 1917 one. But but the bottom part of the C is just flat. Uh, 1922 to 1925, same as the 1921 one. But the bottom part of the C is not flat anymore. Instead, it's like curvy. 1925 to 1932, the C part of this logo now has white and blue outline right here. See that? Trademark. 1932 to 1947, um, they uh, act like this is, well, again, this is just the C with the white outline and blue outline, and then the white A with blue outline is engraved into that C. Also, am I the only one thinking that this part right here looks like a fish? Let me know in the comments. 1947 and 1956, same as last time, but this part of the C changed shape. 1956 to 1999, uh, we have, uh, well actually, this is the same as last time, but the top, the, the top and bottom part of this C, you know, are close to each other rather than separate. 1999 to the present, same as last time, but there's no white background right here. 2009, this is their 100th anniversary logo, and this is their other 100th anniversary logo. And finally, we'll move on to regular show. Here's a short battle so you don't know what regular show was. It was an American animated television series that first aired on September 6th, 2010. The show ended on January 16th, 2017. It was created by G G J, I mean J G Quintel. It was directed by Paul Spence, you know, as the art director, John Infantino as the supervising director from seasons two to six, Robert Alvarez as the animation director, J G J G Quintel from 2012 to 2014, Mike Roth from 2012 to 2013. Sean Cizelles as the supervising director from season six to f from seasons four to six, and Calvin Wong as the supervising director from seasons seven to eight. The creative directors are Mike Roth for season one and John Infantino for season two. It was voiced by J. G. Quintel, uh, William Sawyer's, Sam Marin, Mark Hamill, Janie Haddad Tompkins. I mean Janie Haddad Tompkins, and Menti Lewis. It was composed by Mark Mothersbaugh, John Enroth, and Albert Fox. I think Mark Mothersbaugh was famous for being the composer for the show Rugrats. Remember that show? And throughout six years on the air, they have aired eight seasons and 261 episodes. And now, without further ado, let's get started! 2010 to 2016 and 2017. We just have the word regular. We have. We just have the words regular show in white text with white drop shadow and with black outline. And these are four other versions. This one is the print version. This one is the glowing version, the Cartoon Network icon version, and this is the South Korean version. 2016 to 2017. Throughout its final season, it was renamed to Regular Show in Space. We just have the regular show logo and the words in space are added to the logo in white text with, um, you know, purple neon outline. And, obviously, it's in a galaxy-like background, because it says regular show in space! Duh! Alright, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo Mystery, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode! Stay tuned for episode 618. Oakley, the Dallas Stars, and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Bye for now.